I've seen it a couple times, but it, I'm sure you guys have seen it or a lot of you have seen it, but I want to rewatch it because in the moment, I didn't think it was going to get this. Um, I don't think it was going to be received that well. It's not a debate. It's yapping. I mean, that's what a debate is. Don't shake my hand? No. Because I love Israel? No, I'm not doing no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know I'm free Palestine. I don't support anything you do. I think you're a disgrace. This is for Trump right now. I don't want to have this discussion. I don't need to speak to you. I'm a disgrace? Yeah, I think everything you stand for is a disgrace. Oh, me? You know who I am? Yes, of course I do. I'm Of course I do. Every bro, people know who he is. There's pictures of him. Have you seen him next to Michael Jackson? Before Michael Jackson passed away from a doctor? Doctor, I, this guy's been hovering around celebrities for multiple decades. He's 59 years old. Yeah, people know, he's had very well-known debates on Piers Morgan with Muhammad Ajab. He's debated Candace Owens on Piers Morgan. He's debated really renowned people. Of course, every, everybody in politics knows who this guy is. It's, it's all bad PR. I see what you've done with your daughter. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. What, 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 what is it about me that you don't like? Is it this? No, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Did you? Immediately, this is what his tactic is. What don't you like about me? Is it because I'm Jewish? No, <laughs> like, no, it's not. That's his tactic is to aggressively, aggressively play victim. Be in your face, almost hitting you. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. He's beating this. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. So I know how to do this. He's this not a the victim. The only response is to stay here. And what he wants you to do, because debate is warfare, he wants you to be on the same emotional level as him. The difference is I'm not a 5'2 raging lunatic who sells dillos with my daughter. So if I'm flailing around and screaming in public, the police might come. Other people are going to step in. I'm going to look stupid. When you're him... When you're this this guy and you conduct yourself the way he conducts himself, you can't act this way. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. He's you, not talking you to you. You need this guy to defend you? You think you think I need serious? you think I need anybody? That is pathetic. Do you think I need somebody that to defend me from you? You see these that guys is that is pathetic. Pathetic. He appeals to the people. He's not even looking at me. He's trying to appeal to the crowd and make people think I'm an anti-Semite. He's anti-Semite. On earth, he asks. Then look me in the eye when you talk to me. He asks a big strong guy. Who asks him? If he needs to be canceled, okay? Who asks him? Well, that's a disgrace. Do you think I need anybody to tell him that I could talk to you man to man? Man, he's I don't, I don't need to tell him anything. Over me, okay? Why are you yelling at this protest right because now? Because do not ever have your you bodyguards threaten me. You got nobody, me. Nobody you got me. You, you got me. 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 You got play victim and, and people are starting to get used to it we know yeah but how zionists like him it, operate bro. so it doesn't have the same weight as it had before anti-semite yawn i'm getting hurt yawn you just say it remains to, and then people are starting to see through it and that's why i genuinely i said this in this debate i feel bad for jews in america because he's the representation now he's a jewish leader he's a rabbi he's the he's israeli's apologist he's the biggest israeli apologist in the west who publicly defends israel more than him who debates for Israel more than Rabbi Shmuley. There's nobody. And he's genuinely the worst representation they could have. There. What does cancel mean? How dare you? Here, nothing. You know what it is? I'm not afraid. I'll show you. Here, I got a phone. I got glasses there. And an extra battery. You show me what you got in there. You won't open it, will you? Do you want me to cancel? Anti-Semites are cowards. Cowards, Jew haters. You guys are the biggest cowards. You support genocide. How am I a coward? I'm looking you in the eye. You support genocide. Who supports You support the slaughter of the Jewish people. I do. You are nothing. But okay. You asked me a question. That flag. I support a slaughter. That flag is liberty. Okay. That is flag it? is freedom. America you first has nothing about, to do with Israel. You are about anti-Semitism, racism. Am I? You are about. Chris did a good job, man. Didn't he? He, he held his own. A bigotry. Yeah. You are all about what is it? The Zionists have no part of the Make America Great Again movement. You need to get out. We don't want to fund your country. We are no part of you. America first cannot happen until we get out of there. Wait a second. I'm American. Why don't you go to Israel? You don't want Jews being American. Why don't you go to, why don't you go to Israel? Where did you come? Where did your ancestors come from? I'm born in I'm born in America. So am I. Why don't you go to Israel? So if you support oh, Israel, go to Israel. Because Jews have no place in America, right? No, of course you would deplore us if they do. you could. You know what? Who do you have allegiance to? Answer my question. Answer my question. Who do you have allegiance to? I have allegiance to that flag. 
flag that you are okay. disgraced. Why do you come here with right an Israel flag? Second. Why do you come here with an Israel flag? Well, right now, I would. I saw you with an Israel flag. Of course, I love Israel. It's okay. America's greatest so ally. Israel. Absolutely. The greatest ally. What do they give us? Okay, let me ask you. What does Israel give us? What, what, question? Give, what does Israel give you? Yeah. The most essential intelligence oh, yeah. about whether or not we're going to be attacked. Bombs? What we give Israel gives us is the what happened on 9 11? the Middle East. What happened on 9 11? Intelligence, so be just being spying on Iran. You tell me what happened. Yeah, did, the Jews do it? did the Jews do it? Of course. The Jews did 9 11. Of course, Israel did 9 11. Of course, Israel did 9 11. This disgusting Jew disgusting. What else did we do? Did we kill ourselves? Like, the, the, see the body language. If I acted this way, like raising my arms like this, it would have been. I might have been asked. I'm, I would have been escorted out. Disgusting Jew disgusting. What else did we do? Did we kill ourselves? I don't know. You started I know, and they have been caught multiple times flying us. So his answer, and this is why I'm really glad he gave us his answer, because going forward, if you guys are ever caught in this conversation, just ask any Zionist, what do we get from Israel being our greatest ally? He gave me the answer, intelligence. Then why were they spying on us? What about the USS Liberty? If they're our greatest ally, then why do they treat us as if we're an enemy? A dildo business with me, your daughter is what you did. Okay, yeah, and you started a dildo business with your daughter. By the way, he has the friends and family discount, everybody. Uh, disgusting. Let me tell you You're something. Are you calling me disgusting? Do you sell dildos with your daughter. Let me tell you something. You sell dildos with your no, daughter. No, sir. I saw no, you dance sir. on it. And he genuinely, on God, he does. He has a dildo shop with his, with his daughter. It sounds like I'm being facetious. Whoa. He actually does. How another do another that? one of the worst representations they could have. Like he has a mom and pop shop for, with, for sex toys. I, I'm j like, it sounds like I'm being like, it actually sounds like I'm being anti-Semitic saying that. <laughs> a child at a wedding. No, sir. You no, twerk sir. on no, children. Sir. Well, you believe you have a mom Jews and pop shop with your daughter. Murderers, killers. Do I? Did we, when did I say that? Did we kill, you said we did 9 11. I said, I said Israel did 9 11. Did Israel did, of course, you did. What's your proof? Of course, I did. What's your proof? It's been all over. Jews. And then someone in the Rumble chat said I would have punched him. F it. No. You can't. I was, I was talking to Grizz about that too. He was like, he was saying, man, if you put his hands on you, I'm like, bro, he's not going to put his hands on me. What he wants is he wants me to put his hands on him. Then he could sue. Then he can get the lawyers involved. That's exactly what he wants. The only way you can really win this is just staying stoic and engaging the conversation. You can't let your emotions raise. You have to stay stoic regardless. And I know like it's, it's kind of uncomfortable because in any other scenario, it might get physical, but this is all about optics. He's, he wins if I, if I put my hands on him. He wins if I get emotional. He wins if, because the cameras are there. This is not just a bat. This is not a battle between two men. It's a battle between two faiths, between two ideologies, between countries, between thousands of years of differences. All right here. Give me one thing. Do you want me to answer your question or no? Thing. That's why. Yeah, and that is why he came up to me. I didn't come up to him. He came up to me, <laughs> just like the Zionists <laughs> came into Israel. I was just standing right there. I'm like, I don't want to do this. I want. I, I don't want to bring attention Ooh. to this during Trump's moment. And he came over to me anyway. They trying won to get a gotcha by. Yes, go ahead. One okay, the dancing yes. Israelis celebrating there. The Israelis loved it. You celebrated the when they won. The Palestinians were the ones celebrating. What are you they talking were, about? Where's your evidence of that? Which city? We have all in the Jersey videos. City. In Jersey, Jersey City. You can see you won the The Palestinians were dancing. The Palestinians. That is correct. Okay, they, they changed countries That's every day That's fingerprints? Yes. By the way, Israelis, you said Israelis. Jersey City is Americans. Where, yeah. do, where are the fingerprints in Israel to 9-11? Why am I even debating this? I don't know. You came up to me. Nobody came up to you. Anti-Semitic. I don't know. You came over to me. I didn't come over to you. You're the one who threatened me with your bodyguard. I threatened you. I'm not afraid of you. I, I will you. never fear you. You cry out as you I strike you. Who's Why is he saying, like, the fact that he's saying, I'm not afraid of you, I'll never fear you, means he's, he's fearful. That means he has fear in his heart. That's why I bring up his height. I'm not trying to like be a dickhead to the short people watching this right now. But that's what he, he literally, his head is craned up like this. And then also look at my bodyguard. Regardless, I don't need the bodyguard. But in this scenario, because there's two men who are at battle right now. He's like, I'm not afraid of you. If you weren't afraid, you wouldn't even have to say that. It's because the thought came into his brain and he's fighting himself thinking that in that moment. Never fear you. cry out as you strike you. think that Who's Jews right you? will ever be afraid of him? He has to bring his big, tough, burly bodyguard. And by the way, as a fine African-American gentleman. He's saying bring as if I can't. Like, I was, I didn't bring it for you. Like, it was just, he got to be smarter than that. Does he, does he, he, he knows better than that. But I didn't bring the bodyguard for him. It's for, for everything. What are you doing with a racist anti like this? A racist. What would I'm you be doing with a guy that would, that would take you're, black you're Jews? You're a cartoonist representative. And, and, and have a I love Jews. Out? 
Israel. You make Jews in America look you bad. You love Jews. I love Jews. said that we did 9-11. I said Israel did. There's a difference between yeah, Zionists Israel. and Jews. Is Israel the Jewish state? It's the difference between Zionists and Jews. Is Israel the Jewish state? It's a genocidal state. It's a genocidal state. It's a genocidal state. It's a genocidal state. What is Hamas? Freedom fighters? It's not a state. What is Hamas? Are you stupid? What is Hamas? Are you stupid? What is Hamas? They're freedom fighters. They're defending. I knew it. Also, another tactic, because if you guys engage in this conversation, whenever you bring up the genocide that Israel's committing right now, they'll say, what about Hamas? They won't say, what about Palestine? They'll say, what about Hamas? To use the terrorist argument. Immediately call that out. Because it's not Israel versus Hamas. It's Israel versus Palestine. All the innocent children that are being blown up. It's not, these aren't Hamas fighters. These aren't freedom fighters. These are children. These are people in Gaza. They're just existing. Defending. Baby killers, freedom fighters. Baby killers, Rapists. what babies did they kill? Freedom fighters. Ben Shapiro was wrong. And, 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 There's no evidence of this. You know what amazes me? Uh, what, what is it? African American men. A lot of this guy yeah. hates you. You don't do I? get that. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you think about African Americans? Well, I am African American. Oh, really? But you I'm said, black. But you, but you just said, I'm black. black. I hate black people. Who's gonna win? God forbid. Look at him trying to do the vibe. At first, he was saying, now he's trying to get Grizz. On his side at first he was saying oh big security guard who's gonna shoot me in the face because he's a black man oi vey what do you have in your bag are you gonna stab me and then five <laughs> minutes later you're a beautiful man why are you with this racist white supremacist all of it is just rhetoric it's like it, how does he flip that quick in one conversation it, blacks and jews are brothers so do i so do i he calls you an african-american he'll tell you to go back why did you tell him to go back he was huh? born here what are you talking about so was i why should, only, should i go you're the only one I who has allegiance to another country you should Israel. If you have allegiance to this, you came here with an Israel flag. No allegiance. We did 9 11. He doesn't have a flag of Africa on him. She doesn't have a Haitian flag. You came here with an Israel flag. That, that was an, a point that he cannot refute. No one else came here with the Nigerian flag, Kenyan flag, Haitian flag, Filipino flag. This is an American. Look at the flags that are right behind us here. And he brought, he was the only one that decided to bring a flag of another nation. If you are so proud of this country, why are you not there right now? Jews. Anti-Semitism. Yeah. 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 We, we know who you are. We know who you are. Look at this. We know who you are. Are you a clown? Are you a clown? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You see? Don't touch me. What are you? What are you? You see? You guys see? I'm always alone. Now we need to help these guys. Now we. They always need a wingman. She needs a wingman. Well, one on one. Bro, is backed by Israel government. He's not alone, bro. You are not alone. <laughs> Tell the truth, bro. You just came here with your flag, with your ideology, and you are arguing with people and trying to make a chaos in that place. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Always need, they always need women. They always, they always need bodyguards and women. I'm not afraid of you. In fact, in I believe you are a good person. Don't hang out with this guy. Come on, you're better than that. Okay. You're better than there you go. This creating man, division. This man hates Trying to create division. He hates yeah. Jews. He yeah. hates yeah. blacks. Yeah. Yeah. You are a clown. And and you're an embarrassment on the Jewish community. This, like, genuinely. And this is yeah. Hijab. You work with Mohammed Hijab. I've worked with Mohammed Hijab. It's funny how this backfired because he thought the reason he came in with so much arrogance and so loud and boastful and trying to get the crowd on his side is because he's thinking I'm in Israel 2. I'm in New York City. That's what Zionists think. They think this is my territory. They, this is home turf. I and mean, it really is. And he tried to get the crowd on his side. He's yelling Jew hater and nobody came to his side. There were a lot of Zionists around. There were a lot of, of, of hats. Nobody came in his defense. But yeah, even at a can Trump see. Can see. gathering, was this guy Egyptian? We got an Egyptian Muslim who came in to back me up. Grizzin is not even a Trump supporter. He came, came and backed me up. Kozu's a Japanese. He didn't even vote. He backed me up. Everyone here, look how many Zionists are here. None of them. None of them sided with them. Their tactics are getting old. It's getting dry. And I think they're going to have to reevaluate because next election, is not, they're not going to have the same stronghold that they had this time around. Uh, he's a terrorist. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Mohammed is not a terrorist. It's just, they're using that word just because he's a Muslim. He is being investigated yeah, for his ties to the terrorist guy. Yeah. 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 I know Kozu and Grizz are on payroll, true, but like, look at all these people here. They're just filming. Like his, his, his boy right here, like, there's nobody... <laughs> there's just there's nothing 
Nothing. But the oh, KCIS. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mahoney is a disgrace to Islam. Mahoney Job says that five year old girls my friend. have sex according to the Quran. Max Blumenfeld. Max, Max, Max Blumenfeld. He's my friend. Mahoney Job says Max. Mahoney Job says He's a Zionist clown. Even this guy got convinced. I think, uh, I think this guy right here, I think I just red pilled him. He's a clown. I'm, a, I'm an engineer. He's, so also, you're, he's such an Asian guy. Holy. What the, who the f asked you? <laughs> I'm studying. I'm an international student. I'm here from, I have student visa. <laughs> I'm getting my degree. I have to go finish my homework. I'm an engineer. He sells dildos with his daughter. You also he you has a dildo shop He's with his daughter. He's a man who wants all Jews to port over there. He actually has a sex shop with his daughter. Max, Max. By the way, next time, next time, don't bring your girlie. My friends, we Jews will never be afraid. Here, here's his weird celebration dance and no one's like, he's clip farming. Look at everyone's facial reaction. Like, what the f*** is this? Talking about like like him's huh? Who keeps you? He's like he's he's doing a Ronaldo like. It, it, Sue. It didn't hit. It didn't hit, Schmully. <laughs> you come with your bodyguards. Who came up to you? Who came up to me? Bodyguard. They called us. They should be called okay. canceled. What is? I think Myron said that it's like literally he's the visual visual representation of Israel. Sells porn with his daughter. <laughs> Comes over in my space. Starts a becomes a nuisance. Cries victim. Claims you're anti-Semitic. Calls you a terrorist. Makes everything worse, takes a shit on it, kills people, and then leaves. Cancel me! Beat up! Gassed! Shot! Oh, killed! Victim. Never again! Never again! Look at those guys! Look at that! You see how many surround me? Look, we ain't It's like, it's like Never you want to be hated. Never again! Never again! Never again! Never again. God bless America! He has such a whiny dis. Never again! Yeah, not Israel! God bless America, not Israel! God bless America! No, no, Israel can f off! You know what's funny too about the way he views God? I saw he tweeted uh, right at this. He took a picture here and he said, God better show up for Trump today. God was hiding during October 7th. What? He thinks that God works for him. It's like God was hiding. God, you better do this today. He tweeted that word for word. God, you better do this. You better do this because you were hiding in October 7th. God, don't mess around with us. It's like he's like a threat. He's like, he's telling God. Don't mess up this time or you're gonna get it. We're gonna come with our lawyers. You better not do what happened the last time. Uh oh, oy vey. It's gonna be ugly, God. <laughs> That's how they think. That's how they think. Other people, it's like, yes, thank you for everything. Everything is part of your plan. I understand bad things are happen to appreciate the good things. But that's how, th that's the thought process. It's demonic. That's why Muhammad Hijab calls him unholy shamali. I don't know why he came to Sneeko and doing just yapping. Crazy people living on earth, bro. But uh, we have to pray for them. May Allah guide them. Because we don't want to see him in Jahannam. Because, yeah, we need God. We need to pray for everyone. May Allah guide us. May Allah guide us.